Using comprehensible input is always a good idea for any child, but especially for our English language learners. Let's take a look at a little tip to help with alphabetic principle, recognizing letters of the alphabet, and teaching vocabulary, along with using pictures on a text to help children understand text features. My little error there was a good example of helping children to understand which way a book opens. I might show them a book like this and ask, what do you see on the cover? Now using this kind of an action helps children who may not understand the word see, but they understand enough to know that they should be looking for something. We can point to the little monkeys here. We can say, oh yes, here are the monkeys. And then get them involved in actually doing that action you can ask them what the monkeys are doing. They're jumping on the bed. And we, of course, want children to do as many of these actions. That's good comprehensible input because they relate words and actions. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit of one of my favorite ways to help children understand the difference between B and D using comprehensible input. And in this case, comprehensible input is merely our actions. Five, notice we're using five fingers. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. And we want our children to make those beds. One fell off. And see how we can give that motion for falling off so children understand that English word. And he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Get children to make the bed this way. Walk around and make sure they are making it correctly with their hands. And of course, notice how I'm turning around so kids can see it from their vantage point. Later on, they can understand that b, 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 and d, d, d say bed, and they have a handy built-in way to tell the difference between B and D. Easy.